Hi guys, so in today's video we are making a cake base using this Topka cake mix which is easily available on Amazon. Now the instructions and everything is given at the back of this particular package which is very very simple. Now inside the box we get a pouch or a big packet that contains all the dry ingredients with which of course you will be making the batter. So in order to make this cake the first thing that you want to do is first take a cake tin or a cake mold and just grease it using oil or butter or desi ghee whatever is your preference and you can also dust some uh, refined flour or you can just use some butter paper i'm going to leave it just as it is and you will just have to grease it the way it is shown in this video yeah so this is what it looks like now after that you would be needing certain ingredients to make the batter so you need 150 ml of milk you need some five to six tablespoon of oil you can use unsalted butter and ghee as well after that of course you need a mixing bowl a spatula and of course one egg which is totally optional you can choose not to put it as well now you also need a wire or an electric whisker in this case i would be using the electric one so in this bowl just to start off you have to mix all the ingredients there is no particular order so first goes this dry mixture that comes in the top cake mix after that i'm going to put all the ingredients one by one so there goes the oil five to six tablespoon of oil and then after that i'm going to add some milk to it so it's 150 ml of milk i'm sure you must be having a measuring jug or something the measurement of all the things should be accurate and then after that i will be just adding one egg this is a totally optional step if you do not want to add egg or you want to have an eggless cake you can just uh, leave this particular egg voila part now after that i will just lightly mix it using the spatula before going with the electric uh, mixer why because while using the electric mixer i do not want all the dust of the cake batter to fly off everywhere now this is what the batter now looks like i'm using this electric mix uh, mixer to just give it a whirl for one minute i think that will be a good amount of time and first i'll start uh, with uh, the slower speed that is the minimum speed and after that i will continuously increase the speed so everything is mixing very very well and mixing is a very important part even if you use uh, even if you use the hand voila mixer it is not going to make a lot of difference so this is the consistency that we are looking uh, for after that i'm just going to clean up the edges using the spatula and also scrape any dry bits which might be there at the bottom of this particular bowl it is a very very satisfying thing for me to clean the bowl using the spatula i think the best part now this batter is totally ready now we'll take the greased mold and pour in the liquid how delicious and lustrous it looks it is just ribbony like texture and after that i'm going to just scrape out whatever is remaining in the bowl again a very satisfying step i really love it so this is what the final batter actually looks like guys you just want to take out every single drop from the bowl and i love to do that so yeah this is the final batter before going into the oven this is what it looks like so you do not really need to preheat the microwave no settings required at all so i'll just going to open it and i will put this batter and we'll just make sure that the base or the base plate is stable and all of that just ensuring everything is correct and then i'm just going to close this microwave set the timer for seven minutes which is just the exact amount of time that you require no special uh, special settings required seven minutes push the start button and here you can see that your cake has started to you know make it just in the process now after seven minutes is done here is your cake so as soon as you open it you will be delighted to find a nice volume which is amazing so i'll just quickly check whether it is cooked or not so in order to do that you can take a toothpick or you can just take a fork just prick it or insert it into the cake while the cake is still in the oven or the microwave if it comes out clean the cake is totally cooked if it doesn't then you might want to just uh, you know cook it for another one minute not more than that so it has come out totally totally clean we let it sit for uh, maybe 15 to 20 minutes or one hour it doesn't really matter and then you just want to demold it in order to demold it just place a plate inverted and then you just want to invert the cake tin uh, upside down and just give it a little bit of push and the cake will come out so here it is this is the texture of the cake it might look very very simple to you but trust me you can add 
a million things to it you can add cream nutella some chocolate paste whatever and it has come out really soft and spongy as you can see so i really like to eat it just as it is with tea but you can obviously add a lot of nuts to it some chocolate chips and anything i mean you can just decorate it it is endless so i'll just add a little bit of hershey's chocolate syrup because that is all that i have so as you can see the close up the texture is totally nice it is amazing and the cake has also turned out really good it is not very very sweet so of course i'm using this chocolate syrup just to give it a bit of sweetness and moistness nothing more but if you have a lot of things at home such as nutella or uh, chocolate spread or whatever you can just cut the cake and also sandwich it with nutella and all of that and it is going to be really delicious so this is the final product guys hope you've liked it and do try it and if you do please do not forget to tag me on instagram and i hope you've liked it and i hope you've enjoyed it and found it useful so thank you so much for watching this video guys and i'll see you in my next video very soon till then you take care of yourself keep happy keep healthy and i love you very much bye guys and yeah i hope you've enjoyed the video bye